and I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Did you miss me? Well, I decided to do a video because if you're anything like me, your attention span is like that. So I figure, hey, instead of writing it all out, why don't I just do a video, okay? So a couple things are coming up that we're really excited about here at DAP. Um, if you haven't uh, been following us, then you missed that we were recently in the newspaper. Yay promoting our new Behind the Mask um, social learning through drama for kids, teens, and adults with special needs, disabilities, autism. It's a really, really cool program that we created um, that I've been wanting to do for a while now. And now we have the qualified teacher to do it. And we're doing drop-in classes every Sunday in the summer. And then we'll start to do eight week courses in the fall along with our regular eight week courses. So I'm excited about that. And um, thank you all for sharing it. And if you haven't shared it yet, please, please, please go to our Facebook page, Debbie's Angels Productions, or to our Instagram at DAPJAX, J A X, and, um, and spread it. It's a really great, great thing that we're trying to do. Also, we've got open house coming up. You know, we do open house every spring, every fall kind of let you guys know what's going on here so we're doing it in tandem with national night out i mean why not right you got to come down here anyway to park and you literally walk past our building on the way down to the festival so we thought kill two birds right you guys get to come in you get to enter to win some prizes we're gonna be handing out some discount cards we're gonna be selling our tote bags and our t-shirts which go pretty quickly to be honest you know because they're arts themed, so you can't really get a lot of that around here, like music quoted uh, bags or just themed, you know, t-shirts and tote bags. We do that here, so we're really excited about that and we're gonna be selling those too and giving some away. Um, so come down August 1st, uh, I think night, night out starts at like five. So come on down, stop in and see us and head on down to the festival. Bring me back a turkey leg, please, and a pretzel with mustard. Also coming up, we have our Aladdin Junior workshops. Gay for Aladdin Junior. I'm so excited about this show. Every year we try to step up our Broadway Junior game. So this year we're going to be doing some things with projection and, and things like that. And so I'm really excited about it. Um, it's a classic, obviously, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're looking for teenagers uh, for to play some of some of our principal roles like Jasmine, Aladdin, Jafar, um, Sultan, you know, all the, we, we looking for some teenagers and looking for our tweens as well. And of course our kids, uh, there's all different types of parts throughout uh, this show. Um, there's four narrators, there's all types of parts. So um, if you haven't auditioned before, we have a lot of fun. We, we work a lot, we work hard, but we have a lot of fun doing it. So those audition workshops will be coming up soon. And at the workshops, what we do is we kind of show you what we're looking for you know you get to meet us and we we kind of help you prepare for your audition okay and we have little shop of horrors yes this is what you all voted for okay um it was between this sweeney todd and um 25th annual putnam county spelling bee you all chose little shop so we're really excited about it and because you chose it we need your help right we need some sponsors to help us out, we have to uh, get the plants, rent the plants, make the plants, all this type of stuff for that. And um, just, just a couple things that we need some help with. As your community theater, this is where you, the community, comes in handy. Um, if you know people who like to build, we need uh, help with building set pieces, not only for Little Shop, but also for Aladdin. Um, if you know some young Marines that need some volunteer hours or that like to work with tools and wood and, and painting, we need you, so uh, definitely contact us. We are also looking for some budding uh, film directors, videographers, 
a lot of people always ask like what it takes to do a show what goes into putting one on and um so we thought that maybe for aladdin or for a little shop that we will do a sort of like I call them a mini-mentory, like a mini-documentary to kind of um, let you see behind the scenes at our rehearsal process, some interview with the cast members, um, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. Uh, I mean everything from the great rehearsals to the, you know, God forbid people having to drop out or somebody getting sick or to, you know, everything in between. Um, I think it's important that you all see what we do. So. Uh, we're going to do kind of like a, a documentary style program, but we need more people. We need some people who are great at filming. Uh, we have cameras, uh, so we need people who are looking to pursue maybe a film career or something like that, um, that would like to come and help us to do the filming, to do the editing, things like that, some sort of apprentice intern. So again, if this is you, let us know. We'd love to have you on board here at DAP. And speaking of film, we are going to be starting up on our hashtag Theater Freaks project. And what this is, is where my love of theater and my love of film come together and create this beautiful, beautiful baby that is the hashtag Theater Freaks project. Mm -hmm. So basically what it is, is I will take something like let's say, the cast of Fame, the musical, right? And I would then pair it with the song, The Greatest by Sia. So it would be like if the cast of Fame did the song, The Greatest by Sia. And my phone's ringing. Hold on, be right back. Sorry guys, that was my sister, my older sister. Stacy, hey Stacy. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Theater Freaks Project. So yeah, it's um, so it'd be something like that. So all types of things. It, it it'll be something like that. It'll also be, you know, maybe us just doing a number from Sweet Charity or Fosse or, you know, just just so, it's it's really cool. It's really different. Um. It's not anything that's been done around here before. Um, so I'm very I'm very excited. It, how can I explain it? It's like if Todrick Hall and Steven Sondheim had a baby, it would be the Theater Freaks Project. There you go. I think that's pretty, that's pretty accurate, right? That's what's going on at DAP. So many things, guys. Um, you know, we're just out here just plugging along you know, we have fall classes starting back up in September. Registration will be open for that soon. Uh, we've got the Aladdin Junior. We've got Little Shop. We've got uh, Jacksonville High School's fall play. Now that is going to be awesome. I can't say what it is yet, but it's going to be so cool. Um, so many things, guys. So thank you for voting us number two art studio in Anzo County. What? How crazy is that? Wine and Design was number one. Congratulations to you guys. Congratulations to all the winners of the Reader's Choice for the uh, Jacksonville Daily News. That is the coolest thing. I, I really, that really meant a lot to us that you all um, thought enough of us to vote. And um, maybe next year we'll be number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, that's it for me. I hope you stuck around to the end of the video. I really, really do. I try to keep it as short as I can. <laughs> I did. So, um... Until next time, I will see you at the theater. <laughs>